What's going on YouTube? It's been quite a while since you've seen this mug on the screen, but it's E3 time. Things are changing personally. My son has turned one years old. I'm trying to get a better balance between content and fatherhood. That whole thing's been crazy. Um, I'm gonna have a bunch of reactions for a lot of stuff that came out in the past couple days. Now I'm gonna be honest and upfront. I've seen all these trailers before. The first reactions I recorded while I was watching their live streams for whatever reason, on my OBS, the sound and the video were just so off, they're unsalvageable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewatch them, just kind of give my thoughts on them, my opinions on them, see where they're at, and then uh, see what you guys think. And honestly, I'm just very excited because E3 season is coming. I have registered and I am a member of the E3 Press Media. So I will have some exclusive looks at some gameplay reveals that I'll have on this channel. So make sure you like, and subscribe i mean you don't have to subscribe but you know that'd be great uh as you see in the text uh that way yeah i don't know how perspective works for my opinions my opinions on horizon from the first game is i really enjoyed it i beat the game uh but like many others breath of the wild kind of came and quickly overshadowed it now, I'm not trying to turn this video into console wars because I've seen that shit on Twitter and social media and people bringing up Halo and references to this gameplay demo. That's all nonsense. I have all consoles. I love all consoles. That stuff is crazy. This game visually looks spectacular and the things I didn't like about the first game were character uh, interaction in the cutscenes and like mobility. But the new grappling hook and glider... I feel like hopefully alleviate my issues with that first game, but still I beat it. I enjoyed it. So let's just like uh, analyze some of this and, and now I get to see it in proper 4k. So my wife and I were talking yesterday, Floxy, for those who see my streams, there's something weird about her face and her hair, maybe because it's a mullet that she just can't get over design wise, but I, I I'm used to it. I played the first game. So, Obviously, this is going to be a cross-gen title, right? PS4 and PS5. So I'm guessing the PS4 version will be less effects going on. Um, obviously not pumping at the full 4K. Or maybe, you never know. They optimized the hell out of the first game for PS4, so... PS4 Pro might be able to pull off some stuff. Put it up a little bit. I'm more curious to see what other people think about it. Besides, besides fanboying out over the graphics. Um, I'm talking like people who played Horizon, who enjoyed it. Maybe who didn't enjoy it. Um, see, my big thing is like... Horizon for me, the combat was my favorite part about it. I love the flow of like the different arrows you can get and targeting the enemies in different spots. Especially when you get like the slide and the dive and the bullet time going on, like. I need to get clear. And stuff like that. Look at that. Oof. That was close. That just looks cool, you know? That looks fun to do. I hope that's not like a uh, hard to pull off move. I'm trying to go, I want to see that move done in the water. I want to see if it like makes like the water cascade. All right, so, you know. Maybe I can lose him in here. It's funny to watch this because it's, you know, very much like scripted E3 demo. I mean, I'm not saying the game won't look like this or I'm sure this is directly from the campaign. Um, but watching this made me happy to have some semblance of an E3 back. I know that Tony hasn't even confirmed that they're doing an E3 press conference. Um, but you know what I mean, whether it's Summer Game Fest, E3, having a central event and all these presentations of these games. Like, I missed it. It was fun last year, but it was so scattered. So I like that we're kind of in this, like, flurry of announcements and, and teasers, and we're getting to see gameplay demos that... The characters talking to themselves. Like the only thing I need now is like an Ubisoft demo where four college students are being way too tactical about left triggering and right triggering a bunch of guys dealing cocaine. Oh, 
don't mind me. I love the water. Some of these creatures look huge. I'm not looking forward to fighting them. The current's strong here. When I see stuff like that, it makes me think that the water is going to be a a really big gameplay element. Like it's not going to be something that you're just going to be able to, you know, kind of ignore like that. It's a good looking game, no denying it. Okay, not just the ones you slaughtered. But when they come looking for me, there's gonna be. Yo, why do you gotta do my man like that? Messed up. Frodo, holy phones. Yeah, see, like, those, like, little transitions like that, those are kind of the things that would take me out of some of the story moments of the first game. It's like, I feel like most developers who are used to making cinematic third-person, you know, action-adventure games, instead of cutting back to her face like that, the camera would just kind of zoom back in over the shoulder, and then you're just playing again. Like, that whole close-up on her face just... Looking like her model didn't know what to do. It's just awkward. Yeah. Not bad. I'm not trying to shit on it. it Obviously, it still looks kid. incredible. Raiders made short work of it. Filthy Osiram. And obviously, the game is early. It doesn't even have a concrete release date. But I do think it's coming this year, for sure. I love this weapon. I, like, I love the bladed tip. I'm into it, like I'm watching it for the first time. You think you can hurt me? I love seeing the armor break like that. This looks fucking awesome. Boom! Yeah, I do. Like I said, for as clunky as some of their cussing transitions are, their combat top notch. Cut them off. Someone who likes hard games, hard combat, Sekiro, the They're Souls games. Around. I played God of War and Give Me God of War. Um, looks like it has a lot of satisfying mechanics, even in this like early little hands-on. So cool. Tech lighter. Not sure how it works. It looks pretty neat. I gotta be careful. Ride the Raptor. Help 
Help's on the way, Errant. No. Gotta keep moving. Bring us around. Take it Fire now. I do think it's amusing to watch these trailers and see how much loot they cut out of it because you know if you played this game, as soon as you like break any piece of a monster, you're just like running around putting everything in your pocket because you need it all for all the crafting. So awesome. Time to head back. All that just to be right next to the the monster again. It's kind of funny. Time to finish this. Hey, Lord. <laughs> Glad to see me. Now you bet. I imagine the trophy popping. I owe you another one. Come on. Well, this time, I have a present for you. I found it, Emily. Huh? What you sent me for? Right before the Raiders got me. You did good. Now, let's see where this thing will take us. I know it probably won't happen, but I'd obviously love some kind of co-op in this game. And the combat engine is super awesome. I wonder if he'll be playable, actually. I can see him being a playable character for a oh, section. Said a storm was coming. Yeah. And it's almost here. Yep. That's kind of what I think about the game. You know, I, I, I do think it's impressive looking and... I said a big fan of the uh, original. I like the world it had, so not much else to say, you know. I can't wait to play it. <laughs> I hope they have a release date of this year. And uh, thanks, everyone, for watching this pretty long uh, impressions slash second reactions. Bye, everybody.